Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. Today is Wednesday, day 3, episode 3. Uh, we talk about a very cool function, we talk about capture templates and capturing. The goal for this snippet is uh, we want to capture tasks, ideas or whatever. And uh, one thing uh, we have to say clearly before we start uh, showing you what's going on. Uh, if you capture, you have to define a capture key in your .emacs file. In my file I have defined the F6 uh, key for our capture. In your file there could be another key. You have to see what you have defined or you put that definition in there. But in my examples I press the F6 key for capturing. In your examples it could be different. So then let's just uh, show you how capturing basically works. It's really easy. For one guy in the comments ask how are you putting your tasks in your system and so on. Now you can see I press F6. And I get a menu that says uh, we have private templates or we have templates for work. We choose the private one and we want to file a to-do entry. If I do that, I get a window here that is already to-do and there is a cursor blinking and that says description. So we say example job and we write details for example job. That's, that's my captured task at the moment, I press Ctrl C twice and here it is. We have created a headline in advanced that says capture and there the job pops up. I can take it, I can Ctrl C, Ctrl W and I put it to mylife.org examples. So you see it's out of the capture headline and it's there where I wanted it to be finally. So this is my example job. It was really fast, easy and, and simple. But uh, let's see how it goes. Because you see we have a nice feature. We have a logbook drawer already and we have a timestamp when did this job enter my system. That was just a few seconds ago. So let's have a look at this template file that we created that's called tpl to do dot text. Uh, it starts with the star, the usual headline. Uh, important if you look at the, the file it is uh, a level 2 headline but here in the capture template it's enough to have one star. So uh, it will be filed correctly automatically by IMAX. Uh, we have the to do keyword. Then we have percentage and the caret uh, sign. That means uh, this is prompting for a variable string and there is the prompt that says description. The next line is percentage question mark. That means this is where the cursor uh, stops and, and blinks when you have entered all other variables. That was what we saw before. This is That means here we can enter task details. And then we have that logbook drawer and that edit and then percentage u means uh, put a timestamp there that uh, records the date and the time. That's it. And if you go back to the mylife.org file, let's save that. Then you see that was my example job and <coughs> practically perfectly filed and, and uh, already the first entry for the logbook is there. Uh, it's really easy and, and fast. Much faster than, than any other tool that I know. And of course you can do much more with capturing. Now let me just show you because this was the, the template file that we just saw but now we have to see how is it configured inside Emacs. So you press F6 and you press Shift uh, capital C and there you get the customization menu. <coughs> and that starts with uh, multi-key description because we have that distinguishing between private things and, and work things and so we set the key P is for private templates and when you scroll down there is the W for the work templates. Let's go up again. This is my to-do that I just defined. I said it's a PT. Uh, you have to put both keys in there even if now only the T is relevant. 
uh, that says okay I have a to do entry the type is we want an org entry an entry in an org file and we want to put it in a specific file under a specific headline that means the file is mylife.org you see I have moved it to the org drawer uh, directory on my file system so that my home directory doesn't get cluttered up and the headline where I want to put it is under capture and I want to have an empty line before one empty line and we take the template that is stored in uh, org uh, tpl to do dot text that's all what we do and if we press F6 you know what happened now let's see another template because there are much more there is one that I say F6 private thing and I want to do a journal entry this is a new journal entry journaling is great whatever cc now our mylife.org didn't change but you see we have written that one into journalprivate.org so let's look at this journal and here that is the very nice thing you have a date tree this thing is called date tree it starts with the year 2016 if you go up uh, to the next level of headlines you enter up in 2016 06 that's June or Juni in German and if you go there then you see yesterday was Dienstag Tuesday or today is uh, Mittwoch or Wednesday and I can advance even more and I see yesterday I recorded one journal entry that says first journal entry and says yeah this journaling stuff is so great because here you can put all the things that happen and that are not related to a specific task and you want to write it down anyway because you think it someday could be useful to remember that so now you have a journal that is sorted by date and by timestamps you see today I was quite busy with creating timestamps just uh, for a demonstration that was the one that we just entered. So that's that and let's go back to mylife.org because there is even more. You just imagine you are one that uh, is frequently reading books and you maintain a to read list in yeah, in your org file, of course. I have a set of books that I say one day I want to read Treasure Island from Stevenson or I want to read Getting Things Done from David Allen. Okay, I already read it, but I needed some material for showing you what's going on. And of course, I have a entry, a template, a, a capture template for new books. If I, whenever I stumble over a book recommendation in the internet I could do this I press F6 I say private thing a book author let's pretend the author was called Newport and the title of the book was Deep Work and it was recommended by uh, whatever reddit forum and it has 302 pages and it comes from the uh, time management or whatever genre. So you see I have my day, my, my uh, entry completely there and if I press Ctrl C twice then if you go back to the books now Carl Newport, oh sorry, is showing up here and it says uh, you yeah, I'm recommended by this group on LinkedIn for that book or recommended by Reddit forum and we also have a properties draw that we will explain in the next snippet so you see I can even uh, have for, for things that are happening frequently some, some things that are important and that would otherwise require a lot of typing I can make a template and I can capture it with just a few keystrokes and I will show you a final example that is practically the master class of capturing because if you remember up here we have that weekly review wow great but what am I supposed to do when I do a weekly review do you know it by heart 
no, you don't know it, me neither, but guess what, I have created a template, this time for work, and they say I want the work template, and I want the weekly review, now it's our weekly review, see, see, we just store it, and now we have it uh, stored in a file home, Joe, org, weekly review, uh, review work .org. We can have a look at this buffer, reviewwork.org. You see, I have a date tree as well. But now, guess what? I have a complete checklist of what I am supposed to do. So today is the day for my weekly review. And it says, okay, let's unfold it completely. I have to get clear. I have made some things that I say, okay, I have to empty my backpack. You can go there, you can mark this checklist off. And then I have to get the in to zero, put this nail in my inbox, the email and so on. And then I want to do some brainstorming. I want to get current. I want to have a look at the, the things with bigger outcomes. So you see, I have a rather long checklist with all the things I want to do during my weekly review and uh, it's really like the checklist in a, a checklist in a, in a chat cockpit that you say I go point by point I, I take it and I do it and I cross it off and at the end your weekly review is done you can be sure you have nothing forgotten and everything is fine and of course your checklist is stored in that file so next week when I do my next weekly review I will get a new entry and I can even see what uh, did I do or I killed the file sometimes or whatever it's just that, that now I, I really have a nice checklist that can remind me what am I supposed to do for this special task and uh, it's an empty checklist that's coming from a template file of course and uh, then we fill it with life. So you see, templates uh, aren't that difficult and they are easy to call. I mean, if I have to, to put another task, it would just be F6P and the to do. Uh, now put the stuff on YouTube. Yeah, done. Okay, CC, and you see it's down there in my capture again. I can move it around or whatever. So you you have really everything uh, that uh, is, is open to you to config your own templates whenever you have a job that, that happens uh, frequently and uh, contains a checklist or whatever. You can make a template for that. Just imagine our if we go to our um, work stuff, if you look at this consulting job thing, that's, that's perfectly uh, for a capture template because we have a fixed program what we want to tell the people and uh, I could just uh, make a, a, an entry, a template file that says, okay, this is the next uh, training and then I put uh, hotkey that says template work uh, schedule training or whatever and uh, then I fill out for what company do I want to do that and then that's it and you are done I mean uh, it's it's really completely flexible it's it's customizable to, to a point uh, that you can't do with other tools I, I have tried out a thousand tools thousand fancy uh, tools that have a nice user interface, graphical buttons and so on, but there was no tool, really no tool uh, that gave me the opportunity to um, config the things like I can do in org mode. Okay, it's getting late, we are almost at 15 minutes, so this was a thing about capturing I will put some links in the uh, YouTube description because I already made some blog entries a while ago in my blog about capturing or about uh, doing that weekly review. So thanks for watching, thanks for the comments and we see each other tomorrow with 
an explanation of the properties drawer. Thanks again. I'll be back.